Hi everybody, Adam here. Welcome back to our Lego room. Really excited about what we have to show you guys here today. I'm always on the lookout for new track geometries and new sellers of track. And I was able to purchase these R104 curved switches from Mac Bricks on Etsy and really excited with the potential these are going to bring to our uh, layout here in the lego room as well as to what we can take out to train shows now one of the first things that i thought about and was looking at when these arrived was the coloring of them I was interested to see how it would match up against what we have from Trix Bricks and our standard Lego train track. And it's not bad. These are 3D printed as far as I know. And you can see some of the artifacts of that as we get a little bit closer to the, the track here. But I think that will go away for the most part once we have railway ties on here and it's integrated into an actual module. It's not something that you're going to be able to notice from a distance. And if we go down towards the end here, you'll see I've actually got two R104 104 curved track pieces integrated here from Trix Bricks just to see the color difference and the, the surface difference. And while there is definitely some difference and the Trix Bricks is just a sort of smoother, more polished uh, track product, this is still really good uh, and really holds up. So happy about that. I think that's going to, uh, you know, these are gonna work out really well. And like I said, once they're integrated into a module, I don't think you'll see uh, any of those sort of slight color differences or sort of surface artifacts. So that was one thing that I was, you know, sort of concerned about or interested to see how it would work. The other thing that I was interested to see is I actually purchased these curved switches with ballast plate. That's something I really appreciate about the Trix Bricks products. I always order the ballast plates to go with the, the various track options that I pick up from Trix Bricks. It just makes it a lot easier to get the track integrated into uh, you know, whatever module I'm putting together. So I was really happy to see that they were offering the, the ballast plates as an option to add to uh, my purchase for these and you can see you know integrates fairly well no real issues with that there was some snug fits but uh, I was able to get everything put together uh, without too much issue and with these curved switches there's also an extension uh, a sort of ballast extension that you can purchase that allows you to get the next to R104 curve tracks attached to this uh, main curved switch without any issues. Because if you didn't have the ballast extension, these two would butt into each other here and would be difficult to get sorted out. So uh, basically there's the, the curved switch product, the ballast extenders, like I said, these two, these last two R104 track pieces here are from Trix Bricks. I just wanted to see how they would fit into those ballast extenders. Works out really well. Uh, I think you could use R104 track from any company and it would probably go in well there, but it was nice to see that the, the Trix Bricks track fit in well. Uh, but really happy with the, the overall sort of look and functionality of the, the track. I'll say that one area that is lacking, it's not necessarily a huge deal, but it is a little bit of a, um, a step back from things that I'm used to with the, the Trix Bricks products. When it comes to the, the switches here, you can see you move these these little bits back and forth here to activate the switch. 
you know, this seems to work well. You know, the switch is fairly easy to move back and forth. I'm interested to see when we extend this out and sort of include it in a full module, how the, the switch behaves as trains are running over it on a regular basis, whether there's any slippage in the, in the switch here. Don't necessarily have any indicator that there will be, but that's just one other thing that I want to test. But ultimately as a method for controlling this switch, this is just, it's good, it's not great. I really like the, the control mechanism for the Trix Bricks switches. Just a much more sort of easy to use uh, positive switch control system. Uh, so that's just a small thing. It makes this, you know, in my books, like something that's good, but it's just not great when it comes to controlling that, uh, that switch. It's just a small thing, something to note, but, you know, overall, I think these are going to be great additions to a module. Not sure at the moment if there's a you know a spot on the layout where it makes sense to add these in, uh, or at least on the top part of our layout. I could see maybe trying to integrate this into the lower level uh, layout that we're going to start working on. The idea, or at least my initial thought, is that these could work well as a way to have a corner module like these ones here and have a way to branch off into a siding uh, starting from the, the corner there rather than having to come all the way around the corner and start on straight track before you can have the, the siding or the branch off point. Uh, we'll experiment a little bit with this. Like I said, it'll probably go into the lower level part of the layout that we're gonna start working on, but excited to continue to kind of work with these and try them out. Uh, I might set up some initial, uh, an initial bit of track just to kind of extend these out and allow for, you know, some trains to run back and forth over the, the track just to, you know, get a better feel for how they work when they're in a sort of a live use situation. But like I said, initial uh, initial feelings are pretty good about this. Happy with the, the coloring of them, happy with the way the geometry is going to, to work out and sort of the opportunities that it will give us. And, you know, like I said, it's also just nice to see another seller of, you know, Lego train compatible track uh, and also one that is in North America, uh, you know, it just makes it easier for being able to acquire track when we've got more track makers who are in uh, North America for those of us who are here in North America. Uh, but, you know, still as my personal company of choice, I still will regularly go to Trix Bricks just because of the sheer volume of different geometry that they offer and the, you know, the fact that they have the, the ballast plates for all the different track that they sell. That just makes them still the number one choice in my books, but it's nice to see more options uh, popping up and I will continue to, uh, you know, look for North American track makers to, to pick up track from. And I could definitely see picking up more of these curved switches in the future uh, as we start to integrate them. And as I see how it works for potentially, you know, some interesting layout additions for, you know, when I go to train shows with my club and, you know, as I try them out in different parts of the layout here in the Lego room. But, you know, Overall, really excited about the potential of these. Uh, if you guys have questions about them, please let me know. Uh, if there's things that you'd like me to try out in particular with them, like I said, I'll probably set up a little test uh, loop of track where I can put this through its paces more aggressively with some trains. And, you know, it'll be interesting to see how that works. But you know, like I said, initial feelings are pretty positive, And I think that this is going to be an excellent addition to the uh, track portion of our collection. 
Now, as I mentioned, these are from Mac Bricks on Etsy. I'll include a link below so you guys can go check out the shop if you're interested. Uh, highly recommend doing that. And we will see you guys again soon. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please make sure to do so so that you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. And thanks again for watching. Take care. Bye.